The flight management computer system on the Boeing 767 has significantly reduced crew workload by providing a single input source for selection, implementation, and monitoring a three-dimensional route structure. The pilot can follow the selected route by making lateral and vertical steering commands manually or by selecting commands from the flight management computer system, FMCS, to the flight control computers, FCCs, and the thrust management computer, TMC, for automatic control. Route information and flight path may be displayed on the electronic horizontal situation indicator moving map display. The major components of the FMCS are the control display units, CDUs, and the flight management computers, FMCs. The CDUs display requested data and provide a communication link from the flight crew to the FMCs. The FMCs use sensor inputs and stored data to generate outputs which accomplish the task or function requested by the flight crew. Redundancy is provided by having two CDUs and two FMCs. The captain's CDU is located on the left side of the forward electronics P8 panel and the first officer's CDU is on the right side of the P8 panel. The captain's CDU normally interfaces with the left FMC and the first officer's CDU normally interfaces with the right FMC. The FMCs are located in the main equipment center. Access is gained through a door on the lower fuselage aft of the nose gear. The left FMC is in the E2-2 rack and the right FMC is located in the E2-3 rack. There are no on-off switches on the CDUs or the FMCs. Therefore, power is controlled by circuit breakers. Breakers for the left CDU and FMC are on the P11-1 overhead panel and circuit breakers for the right CDU and FMC are on the P11-4 panel. Auto-tune circuit breakers associated with the FMC auto-tune function are located on these same panels. Internal and external switching provides for flexibility and redundancy of operation by allowing either CDU to interface with either or both FMCs. Any combination of a CDU and FMC operates as a functional system. External switching also controls the data source for displays on the electronic flight instrument system from either the left or right FMC. When power is applied to the FMCS, the CDU displays the identification page. The page title, page number, and number of pages in the mode display are on the top of the page. There are 12 line select keys located at the sides of the display, which are used to select additional displays and to alter data. For example, the data field indicates position initialization for the lower right line select key. Pressing this key displays the position initialization page. The bottom line of the display is called the scratch pad, which is used to display messages and in the transfer of data. To copy the last position into the scratch pad, press the line select key opposite the last position data field on the screen. To transfer that position information into the IRS for initialization, press the line select key opposite the set IRS position data field. Manual entry of data is accomplished using the alphanumeric keyboard. The entry is displayed in the scratch pad for review. And may then be transferred to a selected data field using the appropriate line select key. Mode keys provide access to pages used in the flight crew's decision-making process. For example, the route key displays the first route page, 
which is used to select and activate a desired lateral root structure. Function keys allow paging through a series of display pages, deleting scratch pad or data field information, and include the only lighted key on the CDU, the execute key. This key is the only means of implementing or modifying a root structure. A feature of particular interest to maintenance personnel is the display of maintenance pages, which are accessible only on the ground. These pages are used to cross-load navigation databases, monitor real-time status of sensor inputs, and assist in isolating FMCS faults. There are four enunciators, two on each side of the keyboard, which alert the crew to existing conditions. It is important to remember that all data displays, formatting, updating, and enunciations originate from the FMCs. The CDU is merely the access and interface link between the flight crew and the FMCs. The heart of the system is the flight management computer, which receives a requested root structure, uses sensor inputs to determine actual root versus the requested root profile, and transmits steering and thrust commands to follow the requested root. The FMC also transmits data to the electronic horizontal situation indicator to display airplane progress with respect to the selected route. The ability of the FMC to perform such a complex task is based upon internally stored routines as defined by an operational program and data stored in the performance database and the navigation database. In the performance database are the dynamic characteristics of an airframe engine combination within a defined environment such as altitude, temperature, gross weight, and thrust setting stored in a software format. As an example, given altitude, temperature, gross weight, and thrust setting, the database will determine a flight path angle which will provide a desired airspeed. The performance database is integral to the FMC as supplied from the vendor. The navigation database is defined by each airline and contains all parameters necessary to structure a route profile from departure to destination. The route structure may be pre-assembled in the navigation database and selected by a company route identifier. Due to the dynamics of departure and arrival procedures, the flight crew will add to the basic route structure procedures such as standard instrument departures, SIDS, and arrival procedures such as standard terminal arrival routes, STARS. After an airline unique database is selected, it must be loaded into the FMC with a database loader by airline personnel. This loader is also used to update the navigation database every 28 days. Each FMC may be loaded individually using input connectors located on the P6 panel. Power is supplied to the database loader from a circuit breaker on the P33 panel in the main equipment center. The data stored in the navigation database and the performance database is used by the operational program in conjunction with external data and requests from the CDU to generate guidance commands and display data, enabling the airplane to fly the selected three-dimensional route while providing a pictorial display for crew monitoring. FMC guidance commands are transmitted to three areas. Lateral profile control channel, or LNAV commands, are sent to the flight control computer roll channel, which results in aileron control surface movement to fly a selected route profile. The vertical profile control channel, or VNAV, coordinate steering commands to the flight control computer pitch channel for elevator control surface movement and thrust commands to the thrust management computer for throttle lever movement. This coordinated effort results in flying a selected vertical route profile. The CDU receives display data from the FMCS and provides alphanumeric readouts. The electronic horizontal situation indicator receives data from the FMCS 
and provides moving map displays. The electronic flight instrument system control panel allows control of range, mode, and additional background information to be displayed on the EHSI. The integrity of the FMCS is continually tested by built-in test or byte, which is automatically activated upon power-up. Byte checks internal operational status and verifies that both FMCs are operating with the same basic data prior to entering normal operation. During normal operation, sensor and computed data checks, as well as some of the initial power-up checks, are performed on a continuous non-interrupt basis. Failure indications for the CDU are elimination of the fail enunciator on the lower left face of the CDU, and the screen of the failed CDU is blanked. Failure indications for the FMC are the associated CDU screen is erased. The CDU fail enunciator is illuminated. And FMC is written in the center of the CDU screen. At the same time, a fault message appears on the upper ICAST display. The FMC caution enunciator on the P1 panel illuminates. And the fault ball on the front of the FMC turns yellow, indicating failure. Replacement of the failed LRU and post-maintenance verification using the maintenance control and display panel provide assurance of system operational status. This completes the module on the flight management computer system. This module has identified the major components of the system, their location, system operation and capabilities, system interfaces, and built-in test features. <laughs>